What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Tech Guys Who Invest podcast, where each week we teach you how to invest wisely and safely. Although this particular episode, we're doing something a bit different. We're kind of going to be a little bit transparent about how we're feeling with this whole coronavirus and and just our productivity seems to be be slumping. But we also wanted to to express that, hey, in this particular extenuating circumstance, it's okay. Don't beat yourself up over it. Uh, in particular. Uh, but one thing we also did want to mention is that every Friday we release emails that go into our subscribers and we call them TGWI Insiders. In that email, you will get additional value nuggets that we're providing, whether it's how we analyze risk, whether it's what pieces of technology are making our lives easier that you can leverage also, or different articles we come across. It could be candid videos from Adam and or I. We're just trying to find ways to add additional value to our loyal listeners. So if you want to be a part of that, go to subscribe.tgwipodcast.com. So Adam, uh, let's talk about what we've been feeling. I kind of, we brought this up kind of candidly in conversation. So I'd love to hear what you're experiencing through this whole thing. Yeah, I think everybody feels different right now in some way because our condition, our circumstances have completely changed on us, right? And what you and I were talking about is kind of like how we feel right now and, um, and how others must be experiencing the same thing. One of the things that we had mentioned was, you know, sometimes I don't feel as motivated or as productive maybe. And, and then we both said how we felt guilty about that. And then (laughs) we're kind of, you know, because we're both really, action takers. Uh, we both try to be high achievers and we're, we're trying to make things happen. So then when you feel like you're not productive or you feel like, um, oh, man, I should be doing something, but, um, things just kind of feel odd and you sort of need a rest. Then yeah. you feel guilty. Right. And, yeah. and we both were saying, Hey, I don't think you should feel guilty. I think you should allow yourself the time you need right now. I agree. I was listening to a good podcast from the Tim Ferriss show. Uh, I think it's from Dr. Vivek, one of the most recent ones, former Surgeon General, U.S. Uh, Surgeon General. And one mm-hmm. of the things he, he was talking about is he was experiencing people who were on there helping them kind of transition to the next life, so to speak, when he was in his residency and that, experiencing death in that regard. And, and it was weird that that came about when I was feeling this kind of funky thing. And ultimately, what he was saying is, when the people were there on their last leg of life, they weren't talking about how much wealth they accumulated. They weren't talking about what material things they had or what, what promotion they got X number of years ago. It was the quality of the relationships they had. And that was an interesting reminder of what you're working towards. And even if you have all the right anchors, even if you have the vision board, you're doing all the good habits. Sometimes you're just going to feel burnt out. And that's, that's okay. Yeah, I think that's important to let people know, almost to give people permission to do that, to take a little break. Um, it's actually healthy to do that. So whether it's right now or some other time, if you feel yourself feeling that burned out feeling, you should take a break. Or if you feel like your life's out of balance, I guess that's probably a, a good way to look at it is... right. I feel like my life's out of balance. Am I always focusing on this one thing and then now I'm starting to get burned out on it? Well, that's probably an indicator. You need to introduce some balance into your life. And that may mean taking a little break, take the foot off the gas for a little while. And I was talking to another a friend and listener of the show. They were talking about how when you experience the burnout, it almost feels too late. Like there's no, oh man, these are the checklists of things that are happening that are telling me I should take a break. So that when you reach the point of, I really need to take a break, you're pretty much burnt out at that point. That's really, I I like that a lot, you know, and I've never thought about that. But now that you're saying it, it'd be neat to put together some markers so you catch yourself getting there. Because I do agree with that thought. I have felt that way before. And if you have some kind of markers where you can catch yourself, then you could take the little pause and not let yourself get burned out before you get there. Yeah. And one thing that I've I've been experiencing is when I think about why I'm uh, procrastination, I I always try to analyze why. Am I scared of of this? Am I why am I feeling lazy? What's going on here? Is it the fear of the unknown? 
why am I procrastinating? I think is also something you can use the time to figure out too. Just there's this, this, I got to keep going, got to keep going, got to keep going. But then you're never really thinking about why things are being done. For me, when I feel myself in that burnout where I'm procrastinating, doing absolutely everything else, but what I need to do, I try to take a step back. Because when I, when I think about why I'm procrastinating, it helps me realign where I'm at mentally as well. Yeah, I think that's important. Now, the other side of the coin is if you're, if you um, are doing a lot of procrastinating and you analyze your, your situation like you just suggested and you realize, well, I'm not really burnt out. I'm just feeling pretty unmotivated or I'm feeling kind of lazy and I'm just not making myself go. I think that's different. I think you, you should recognize that the same way as right. you do with the opposite condition. And take action towards that and, mm -hmm. and realize, hey, I would actually feel better if I did accomplish some things in that situation. Yeah, that's another thing too, is, is breaking down what you're trying to achieve in the smallest detail, getting that little win. I think we've talked about in the past, same thing with mm -hmm. investing, right? As you're progressing towards financial freedom, not everything is going to generate $1,000 a monthly income, which I, I don't know very many things that do. But my point being is that $50 of, of of passive income, you're, you're basically chunking away at it. And the same holds true to whatever you're trying to accomplish. Break it down as small as possible. And that could be the priority for the day. If you're thinking, oh, I have to analyze this deal, then break down the exact process that you want to do it at. And that could be enough for the day. So I think there's also recognizing that you've done something is one I've, something I've struggled with. You get this feeling of, I didn't do enough today. And then when you sit and journal or whatever, reflect on the day, like, oh yeah, this is what really, I, this is what I did today. And I'm proud of that. I can end the day feeling proud that I've accomplished something. I find doing a little weekly plan. So I plan on multiple levels nice. um, and, and doing a little monthly, weekly and daily plan helps with this quite a lot. So if you do, let's, say you're taking your weekly plan and over the weekend you look at what you want to accomplish in the next week and you just write down a few things like if i accomplished uh these few things i would feel like i really made progress and moved the needle towards my goals then each day when you're starting your day if you take just a few minutes and kind of go over that plan and say okay well what do i want to do today to move towards that and if you can have a few things that you write down that you accomplish each day then when you start feeling either of the ways we've been talking about, you could kind of look at your plan and say, yeah. actually, I got more done than I, I thought I would. Or I've noticed that I'm overworking myself right now. I, I've looked at all the things I've been doing. It's too much. I need to slow down a little and put some balance in my life here, focus on some other things. Either way, that kind of helps you maintain the balance we're talking about. Yeah. Another thing that I've done is when I talk about reflecting on the day, I've tried to implement a nighttime routine. It's similar to savers. It's but basically I'm not doing the exercise part. Uh, I, I meditate at night, even if it's just three minutes, just close my eyes and breathe through the day or whatever. I look at my affirmations. I visualize how the day went, visualize looking at my vision board. Then I'll also journal. And I think for me, that clears my mind and it allows me to reflect. When I journal at night, I think about three things that went well, three things that I want to be better, and what my approach will be for the day. And when I do look at what went well, it's like, oh, yeah, I really did accomplish more than I thought. Wow, that's great. Yeah, I think that that's some really good advice there. Now, Kevin, what do you find yourself doing with your time when you've got some extra time? Because we're at home now, we, we don't have the commute factored in, and errands or other things where you have to go out so much there's more time at home for sure what do you find yourself doing with the extra time one thing i try to do is because we're not going out to do errands i try to get out somehow whether that's go for a run or go for a walk and mm -hmm. when i go for the walk or the run i, I listen to podcast because what i'm finding and, and our listeners might be experiencing the same thing is without the commute for errands or just driving around I'm listening to fewer podcasts. So getting out kind of serves two purposes for me there. Um, another thing that I've been doing is, is leveraging technology to video chat. I'm seeing a lot of people do virtual happy hours and stuff. And the, the two consecutive weeks, we've video chatted my family. 
Stephanie's family. And that's been a lot of fun maintaining those, those relationships and, and leveraging technology at that capacity. How about you guys? Yeah, that's pretty cool. We've done some of the same. We've been taking, we, we get outdoors pretty often, um, but we've been taking a lot of walks and, and some bike rides and things like that. Um, also, I've been reading a lot. Nice. Um, I like to read anyway, but it, I feel like I've, I've had a little bit more time for that. Um, so yeah, that, that's what I find myself doing in addition to just working more. <laughs> yeah. And that's you know, another both. thing too. Uh, Speaking of reading, I know that if you are thinking about investing or you're in the personal development and there's books that you feel like you should read, the rich dad, poor dad, whatever, whatever that list may be, the top 10 books will teach you about financial education. If you don't feel like reading that, that's also okay. If you want to read a sci-fi or you want to read a Tom Clancy type of book, then do it. Like that that should be something that you should also indulge in uh, because for me, what I experience is when I come back to whatever I'm reading, like what I feel like I have to be studying, it helps refresh me at that point as well. Yeah. I'm glad you said that because I definitely fall into that camp where I've, I feel like if I'm not always reading some nonfiction thing, that's growing me in some way, I right. kind of feel guilty yeah. reading some, <laughs> it's weird. The things that we do to ourselves, right? Uh, why can't I just let myself read an occasional Tom Clancy or Robert Ludlum type book that I enjoy? Um, sometimes I do. And actually over this break, we took spring break, um, even though we really didn't, didn't go anywhere. Um, and I did read one. I read a, a Clancy book and really enjoyed it. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's good. You know, speaking of, um, if you do want something educational, but that's, that's, pretty light, easy reading, yet very informative. Our ebook is a really good read and um, super fast and, and very informative. So you can find that on our website, uh, tgwipodcast.com. You can go directly to the ebook page, ebook.tgwipodcast.com and check it out. The cool thing about that is one of the questions, our ebook, if you haven't read it, has uh, five questions we asked really experienced investors who happen to have been previous guests on our show. Um, some of the top most experienced investors in the nation. And we asked them five questions. But one of the questions was, uh, how would you prepare for the upcoming crash? Or, you know, what advice might you have to prepare for it? That kind of thing. Really interesting to see their answers and then see where we are right now amidst the, you know, the coronavirus situation we're in. So. Yeah, that's a very good point. I've had multiple people ask me, what should I do now with everything that's happening? And I try to ask more questions because it's, there's not like a one answer fits all in the, this whole situation. Uh, but I do think recommend, I highly recommend reading the ebook because more experienced investors than Adam or I have provided uh, strate- strategies and tips that are super relevant today. So go ahead and check out that ebook. And we're thinking of doing some type of an online cash flow game. So we'll keep you posted on that. But uh, we want to keep try, kind of keeping those skills of, of generating wealth and income. But we want to have some fun doing it. So it'd be a great way to connect with our listeners. So we'll keep you all posted on that. But if you're feeling like you don't want to be productive or you're lacking that motivation, maybe take a break and that's okay. And if you want to chat just about, I don't know, anything, you can reach out to us, techguyswhoinvest at gmail.com. Also, if you guys have questions or suggested topics, especially during this time, we would really love to hear that and we'll work some of that in. So send those over to our email address and um, we'll try to, to work some of that in. Thanks, everybody.